What's going on, everybody? James here, redoptionagency.com. 23 years selling full-time on eBay, and I finally decided to open a second store. Uh, why I decided to do this is because um, I've had about 60,000 items in my store, and I wanted to create a clothing store. So I'm going to move my clothing that are in my big store over to this new store. And I decided to use Ink Frog to do this. Now, I've searched all over YouTube and could not find a video on how to do this in bulk. Uh, very easily. So I'm going to show you how to move listings from one eBay store to another in bulk and uh, do it a hell of a lot quicker than one at a time. So let's get into this. Let me shrink myself down here. And that's not it. There we go. Let's jump over here to InkFrog. So once you sign up for InkFrog, it's going to have you link and sync your eBay store to InkFrog. And then depending on your store, it will populate over here under library. I had 60,000 items. It probably took about 24 hours to bring them all over. So if you got a bigger store, expect a delay in all the items being pulled over. Um, then what you would need to do is add your second store to that account. Now, I've already done this, but you go to eBay, you come down to settings, you hit accounts, and then you have, hit over here, add eBay account. Once you add that account, it'll sync it together and bring all the listings over for that. Now, in InkFrog, I've got two eBay stores with all my listings over here in InkFrog. So, here is how you move listings in bulk pretty quick. You got to do the, the best. The only way I found to do it is 50 at a time, which is, like I said, better than one by one. But we're going to go through here. So, um, the great thing about InkFrog is it have this filter listing here. And you can filter between the two stores or a mix of both stores, whichever you wish. So the first thing I do is hit eBay account. The Urban Picker is my old one. Now, being I sell on web, I use web interpret and I sell my items on um, the other eBay markets. Also, not just the U.S. eBay site. I go ahead and use eBay market as, a, as a, a filter so that it does not mix up my international eBay items. Now, if you just sell on eBay US, you won't need to do this. Uh, but if you use Web Interpret or you just cross list onto other eBay sites like Canada and UK and what have you, then you would need to do this. Um, and then the next filter I use is eBay status. eBay status is live, scheduled, unsold, things like that. So you want to hit live and that's everything that's in your store active and live right now. All right. So that is the basis right there. And I thought I created a search. Oh, there it is. That's the search. So I, you can, um, so you don't have to do this over and over after every 50, you can hit save this search and give it a name. And that's what I did right here. So from now on, when I come over, I don't have to hit these filters. All I have to do is hit this search. Uh, option. Now, what I left open is the last step, and that is the categories. Because I, since I'm just pulling over clothing, I just want to go to my eBay store categories for clothing. So there's two ways you can do this. You can do this by category through eBay or your store. I use store because all my stores, I know all my items are separated pretty close to 100%. So I go to eBay store. Uh, here it brings up both stores. So I'm pulling from the old. And then I want to find the category I'm doing right now, which is t-shirts. So I'm pulling all my t-shirts over in to the new store. I add that filter and boom, it's going to bring up everything that's in that eBay store, my old eBay store under my t-shirts category. Um, you can come down here and you can see I probably have 400 left. Um, my head might be in the way, but down at the bottom, it'll tell you one through 50 of 401. So there's uh, 50 items right here. So what I do on this is <clears throat> click on it and up here, you'll see the bulk action. It says 50 listings. You do the drop down here and then it says listing actions. And now you probably can't see this, but all the way at the bottom, it says end early. You click end early and you click that button. Now it takes a little bit of a few seconds here to catch up. 
a little slow when it comes to this option, but it's a lot quicker than doing it one by one. So we're going to sit here and wait for that to end. That pops up. I hit wait. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, I haven't had two of those. There we go. Okay, so those have ended. Now what do you do? Now we're still in the category just with 50 less. So it's going to be about 350 in here now. So what you need to do is come over to the eBay tab. You come to unsold. When you come to unsold, they're going to be right in here. So what you do here is the same thing. You pick the filters. So um, I've already made a short click, a short link to it. But you do the same thing you did on the other one, the eBay account. That would be your old one. And then eBay market US add filter. And that's exactly my filter for I have set up here. So these are going to be the 50 items that you just ended. You can click on it and up here it'll say 50 items. So uh, make sure that that folder's empty before you do the first one, just in case it pulled over some unsold items prior. Um, you can go to eBay and delete all your unsold items. Um, I have a, a page open for that. And I just, as you can see right here, 50 of them. So you can keep it emptied here after you're done. So, um, all right, so that is done. You click the 50, you come up to bulk action and you hit list selected items. So when you, once you click that, it's gonna bring all 50 up. Um, if you notice over here, it'll be a drop down, and this drop down is gonna have both stores on it. So I'm moving it from the Urban Picker to the Great Reseller Life. Sadly, there is not a way to do this in bulk. You have to go one by one all through all 50 of them, which is kind of odd, being all the details with the filters. Why would you not have a nice way to, at least if there is a way, I have not found it yet. So I go through here. And I'm going to move them all over to the Great Reseller Life. And then there's going to be three things that I do after I move them. Actually, four things total. Four steps. And I'm going to show you what those are. Because as you're moving them over, if you read right here, it removes the, if you use business policies for shipping, it removes those. And it's always also going to throw these items into your new store under the other category. So it removes your, your shipping um, policy and it gives it an exact one, but it's, it's a mirrored one basically. But I already have business policy set up on my new um, store. So I will show you what I do. So all of them are set to go live in my new store. Launch listings, submit, simple as that. We wait, and we wait. Let me make sure I did hit it. Oh, okay, there you go, I didn't hit it. All right, so we're back here, and now it's under scheduled. So if you click over here back to unsold, they should be gone. No, they're not gone because I haven't deleted them yet. If I go to, since they're live now, I go here, to, and over here, I'm in my seller hub under unsold, and I'm just cleaning out my unsold. Now this will be empty once it updates. Or actually, maybe I got to hit that first. There you go. I got to hit my thing. I, I, this is only my third time moving stuff over by bulk, making this video. So. All right, so there, it is empty. So now it's all in my new store. So um, I have two stores on eBay. I found the best way to um, run two stores is to use two different browsers. I use Chrome, Google Chrome for my main store, and then I use Edge for my new store. So I bring up Edge, and I am filtered in eBay under listings, store listing, category, other. That's where it's going to throw all the items. So as you can see, there's nothing here right now. So I'll refresh that and those 50 will pop up in here. So this is the other 
in your store category. So I want them to move them out of there. Plus I will also want to update the shipping policy. And also I want to update the description because in my old store, I have my old store name in the description. Well, I'm just going to delete that out of there just so that there's no confusion or what have you. So go ahead and click on that and edit all 50 store, all 50 items. Then I come down to shipping policy because that is what changes. And you'll notice here, if you come down, you'll see what they switch them to. Ink frog shipping, blah, 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 which is basically a mirror of the old listing. So I have one called t-shirts for lighter items, t-shirts, hats, and things like that. So I click t-shirts, hit save, hit apply. So now it's changing my shipping policy to what I had set up for this store. Move on to the next change, and that is category. I'm going to take it out of the other of my store category, and I'm putting it in my t-shirt store category. So I put it in t-shirts, you double check there, hit apply, and that is done. Now, you may not have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and come down to item description. This is what's underneath what you type in in your item description. Um, if you type a, a detailed description of what the product it looks like, then you don't have to do this. I'm doing it to take out the old name of the old store so that there's, like I said, there's no confusion. So change to, and I'm just putting a simple, all items are guaranteed. I could put, since I do free, free returns, all items are guaranteed with free returns, et cetera, et cetera. I just keep it simple, move on, hit apply. As it updates, submit. Boom, all the changes go into effect, and this page should be blank because this is the other category. So everything's moved from my other into my t-shirt category. And that's it. And you can go back and do the next 50. So it's pretty simple after you figure it out. It took me a minute to figure it out, but hey, I'm here now. So hopefully that will help you guys, being I have not found a video that sh shows this detail in bulk on eBay or on YouTube. So uh, hope that helps you guys. Thanks. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe because I do all type of reselling content and I will see you all in the next video. Later.